Aaron, welcome to the club. Lou seems to have surprised a few people. Why Bolton? Uh, I think as soon as the interest came around, uh, I was at, I was obviously re-signed at Bristol City last month. The manager there had explained he was going to be off-field duties and stuff, and not not that I wasn't in his plans, but there was I wasn't going to play as much football this season. Uh, and I, I just thought from when Phil Parkinson had the interest and the football club and Bolton, I was just excited for the challenge. It got my hunger back. I'd, I'd, I'd lost it a little bit through being told that Bristol and I needed a challenge and something I could look forward to and wanted to feel part of the team and it was exciting to come. It's a chance for you to move close to your roots as well. Yeah, obviously uh, I've been away, living away from my wife and little girl for the three years I've been at Bristol and it'll be nice, uh, to, it'll be nice to come home to them. My little girl starts high school next month and so that's fitting but I think it was important. I didn't, I didn't want Bolton fans thinking that was just the reason that I did uh, decide for the move. I, I'm excited for the challenge of getting Bolton back to where they need to be and kicking on from last season. Have you had many dealings with the gaffer? Uh, I've, I've spoke. I've trained twice this week with the boys, and it looks a really good squad. And the boys look really sharp, to be honest. And uh, I've not. I've only ever played against the gaffer. I've not, not been managed by him before, but I've spoke to a lot of players who have, and they've always spoke really highly of him. And that was another thing that attracted me to come to the club. You don't get many outfielders that are still going strong at 37, I suppose. What's your secret? No, I think uh, the players at Bristol City nicknamed me Peter Pan as a bit of a joke, but no, I still feel good for my age, and I like to think even when I'm not playing, if I'm not involved, I'll, I'll be good around the place and help the young lads and use my experience to help make them better, really. And no, I, just, I just always love playing football, and as long as the body keeps feeling good, I'll play as long as I can. And looking at your CV, you seem to have got better with age. Yeah. Probably, I probably agree with that. I think as you get older, any player looks after himself a little bit better, realizes how diet's important and the things you do off the field. And uh, probably, I probably agree with that. Yeah. You boast a number of promotions, do you know? Yeah, I've managed. I've managed to uh, have, I think it's five promotions, five different teams. So I've had a fair few promotions, and I think I've been since I left Stockport. I think I've been promoted with every club that I've signed for. So I'll, I'll carry on the uh, good luck at Bolton. You enjoyed your career best tally of 21, I believe, a couple of years ago. Yeah, that was at Bristol City in my first season, uh, going from League One to the Championship. Uh, we won the league and Johnson played trophy, and it was a really good season. And with uh, Palace and Norwich, you've got that experience of winning promotion to the Premier League. Might be a bit too ambitious here, but it's definitely something to have an eye on. Yeah, I think, as I've said before, when, when I did get the two promotions from the Championship to the Premier League uh, with Norwich and Palace, we were never fancied. We were never. I think Palace were second favourites to go down this season, but we did it. And you never know. You never know what can happen. We we had a great team spirit, both those clubs, and I think I can see that already coming to Bolton. So you never know. You've been brought in as an alternative to Gary Medine. You know Adam Lavondra well, and there's also like Adam Armstrong, who you said mentor perhaps. It's a nice mix we've got on attack. Yeah, definitely. Uh, three really exciting strikers, and just from seeing them in training in the last couple of days, they look really sharp and really nice lads as well. And a mouth-watering potential debut clash against Leeds United to look forward to. Yeah, big club leads, and it's a big game for us. And uh, starting off at home in front of our fans on the Sky cameras will be exciting for the lads. So hopefully we can go and get the right results for the fans. And I'm sure, as an opposition fan, you've lined up against us many a times. So it'll be nice to uh, line up against in front of the fans as a home player. Definitely, yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. I've always liked the stadium and always enjoyed playing here, and always had a bit of a feeling for Bolton obviously being a Manchester club and around this area uh, where I've lived growing up so yeah I'm really looking forward to pulling on the shirt.